OK, so ladies and gentlemen, what I'd like you to do is kind of draw four different quadrants, all right? So take on your nice sheet of paper. We have our leading coefficient test. And whoa, make a nice big x. Well, cross. And x turn sideways, yeah. OK, so what we're going to do is we're going to talk about how to apply the leading coefficient test. Now, the leading coefficient test is obviously going to include the leading coefficient, right? It's also going to include the degree of your polynomial. So the first thing we want to do is talk about when your degree is even and when your degree is odd. OK? So ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and take a look at um, let's go and look at when our degree is even. All right, I'm sorry, when our degree is even. Now, we just went over a whole bunch of formulas. All right? Now, what is an example of when we had a degree is even? Yeah, but the name of, the, sorry, the name of the, that polynomial was a quadratic, right? So if we look at when a degree is even, and let's say our leading coefficient, which I'm just going to abbreviate, is positive. So we know that when we have a quadratic, all right, a quadratic is going to look like this. And that's when not just so much your leading coefficient is positive, but we say a is greater than 0. right? Because remember in a quadratic, a is your, co leading, a is your coefficient of your x squared. right? So we say a is greater than 0. Now, let's look at what about when my degree is even, but now my LC, my leading coefficient, is negative. Or we say A is less than 0. So ladies and gentlemen, you've looked at this before. What happens when we take this graph and we make it negative? What happens with that negative? It reflects over the x-axis, right? So now we're going to have a graph that's going to look something like this. OK? So we're going to talk about what we're going to do, because we're going to learn about all these different techniques. So now let's go and take a look at when the degree is odd. All right? And I guess some students are going to have to move from their seats they should, because you have this written down, right? Got it right now? OK. Um, so now let's go and look at when the degree is odd. So when the degree is odd, let's go and take a look. We went over a couple examples, but one example that I'm going to use is the cubic. OK? So when the graph is odd, a cubic function, which we haven't really talked about so much, takes on a shape of this, like this. And it looks like that when we say our LC, leading coefficient, is positive. Or A is greater than 0. All right? Then, if our, um, when it's odd, and what do you think it's going to happen if it's negative? So when it's negative, we, like this one, we reflect it, right? So this one, we do the flip same thing. The You're going to flip it over the x axis. Oh. And y would be like this. x, flip it over like that. So therefore, if we flip it over the, y, or the x, now the graph is going to look something like this. All right, so once you guys have these done, we're not done with the leading coefficient test, all right? Um, because we need to now kind of explain something. Now, first of all, is there any other possibilities than these four? All right? Can you have another number? If it's not odd, then we know it's even. Can we have, really, is there another third example that we're dealing with? Huh? No, but I mean, it's either odd or we're just dealing with our real numbers. They're either odd or they're even, right? So therefore, we've cut off these two. It's either odd or it's even, right? Now, it could either be positive or negative. Is there any other option between positive and negative that we're dealing with? Well, yeah, we could, we could deal with zero, which is a different thing. But as far as, well, if it's zero, then we obviously wouldn't have um, even our constant for our leading coefficient, right? 
But is there anything else? If you guys look at your other options, do we have anything else besides even and odd? No, it's just even. Yes. If a equals zero, then you don't have a quadratic, right? Or you won't even have a you know the form. So, right now, currently, I just want you guys to understand, Biori, that we have either an even or an odd, and it's either positive, positive, or negative. So there's only four examples up here, right? And that's it. That's all we're going to use. Now, about these four examples, it's very important that you guys understand this next step. For this example, all right, and I'm going to go through kind of, I'll go through the long way, and I'll, I'll go through a formal definition and kind of a quick definition. All right, actually, you guys got this, right? Let's go through the next one. So I'll actually make a stop.